Hello my soccer universe! Nowadays it is rare that I pick up shirts myself because most of them I order online either from private sellers or from uh, stores or club stores or whatever, although the latter are rather infrequent. So um, this one is kind of special, it's not an unpacking but a reveal video if you like. And it is from the local mall, the Plus City, as we say in Linz, which is very close to my workplace, where I have realized that come February or so, February, March, that suddenly they were offering World Cup jerseys at the Inter Sports Store there for 25. And there was there were many Belgian shirts for 25. There were of course the Germanish home shirts. We are talking all home home shirts here. The Germany shirts for 25. Um, I saw the Netherlands shirt, fortunately not in my size for 25 because that would have annoyed me quite some because I bought it for 55 <laughs> from a store, but that was not an option. And then there was the England shirt uh, for 25 and one other particular team. And for all these teams that I've told you right now, the Austria shirt, by the way, was only selling for uh, 50 or something uh, because it's still current and Austria is kind of popular, but it was still notable that it was reduced even though they were not at the World Cup. But for all these teams that I mentioned, they had my size. However, for the one team that I actually thought, and I haven't mentioned it yet, because that is the team that I ended up buying for the one team, uh, they had only once XL and I hesitated at the point because, you know, 25 is cheap, but, you know, I, I do I, why do I need to buy blah, blah, blah. So I hesitated. And next time I went ahead only L and I remember even going with my daughter, I tried the L and while it fits, it's not perfect in the way uh, XL fits just more comfortable. And so I decided, nah, let's not go for it. And then just a week ago, I went to the mall and I saw, ooh, England is gone. Because I was, although I, don't, I didn't like it that much, but I was thinking, oh, this in 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 English shirt, my, my daughter said, oh, the, it looks nice in, in a way, the colors. England, Belgium, and that particular team, um, let's just check, check, check it out and maybe I'll get that particular team. England was gone, Netherlands was gone, uh, Germany were only a few left, nothing on my side, or I, I was an info sh uh, Germany shirt, there were some Belgian shirts, and there was this one team, they had their only three shirts left, and wouldn't you know it, one of them is XL, I said, okay, screw Belgium, I'll take that one, and which one is it, I saw it as a sign, it is of course the Spain shirt, Yes, the World Cup was not a success for Spain. However, they play in the Nations League Final Four and I thought, yeah, this might actually be a nice jersey to use. And overall, it's a really nice shirt. I mean, with a few quirks. I mean, the new crest this is the first Spain shirt where I have kind of a monochrome crest. The new one with the Federation logo, I think it's not so bad. I just would still prefer it in full um, color. What I found interesting, this was the only shirt where the crest was actually kind of uh, rubberized and, you know, with this um, harder material below, which I found really, really interesting. I do love the way the color goes and also the side strapping is pretty, pretty, pretty cool, although I think they missed a point here. Why don't you put the Spanish flag in the center? Why do you have a red and a yellow red and then you have here the navy and also the way it is goes over if you turn it around then actually the two flags could meet up. So that is a little bit odd. Then of course, there's the ultimate oddity, which I still don't get why Adidas is doing his template. The Adidas template is really, really nice. Oops, a lot of sun coming in for a Spain shirt. The Adidas template over is really, really nice. But why these patches here on the back? Keep that red and we are talking. An absolute super class jersey. Look at what Japan did for their away jersey, not for the home jersey. On the back, it's all white. So what? Here's the patch, but you don't see it. It's gorgeous. I think Wales did it kind of well. Most teams didn't. Spain is one of those. This looks positively odd to me. Other than that, I think it's a really, really nice shirt. Very happy to have Pickwick up. I will use it in my Nations League car coverage and for the qualifiers and who knows what will go. It's also the only Spain jersey that I have that has actually uh, the three stripes in navy, which made it kind of in a way said, yeah, I think this is worth getting as kind of a little bit of a change because of my two other Spain shirts, of course, with yellow stripes here. So yeah, 
here it is let me know what you think about this jersey um as i said spain unless they win or the nations league in this one will not want to really remember it but who knows who knows it's even a, que a, a question if they would make it to the final if they would wear it given that they play the netherlands or croatia in both cases they will not be wearing this home jersey so yeah will probably uh, be one of the more skewed Spain shirts overall. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.